Hello everyone, Neil from BookBolt here. Today I have a really exciting new feature to show you guys which is called the Book Scout. What this is going to allow you to do is reverse ASIN search your competition to see what keywords they're using, where they're ranking for those keywords, and really just find the keywords they're using to get in front of the audience that's buying their products. So let's go ahead and jump in on the computer here and I'll show you exactly how it works. So you see that I'm inside of Book Bowl right now. I've opened up the Book Scout and it's going to look very similar to this. You're gonna get 25 lookups per day. I've already done a few today, which is why the screen says 22. Now let's say you're doing your research and you come across a book like this one. Now I have an Amazon page here. It's a simple password book for someone to write down their passwords. Let's go ahead and look inside just to show you guys. You know, they have one cover page and then this is all of the interiors, website, username, password, notes. Very simple interior, very simple cover. You can actually grab a free password tracker from BookBolt uh, for your interiors. But let's say you come across this book and you're looking at it and you're saying, oh my God, they have over 700 reviews. It's a number one bestseller. What keywords are they using to actually get that traffic that's buying this product and really driving it up to search results? So that what you wanna do here is scroll down until you see the product details. And for the module, for the Book Scout inside of BookBolt, you wanna copy the ISBN 10 number. This is what Amazon uses as the ASIN. It also shows up in the uh, URL at the very top. So let's go ahead and copy this. And let's go back into BookBolt here and you just wanna simply paste the ASIN in there and click search. Now, if you're doing a search for the very first time that day, this process can take a little while. Remember, it's gotta go out there and gather all of this information and compile it. But if you've done a search previously, as you see here, if I click search and pop up the results here. So the first thing you're going to see is the product, the title, and the description. We already know what that is because we were just on Amazon looking at it. But then you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see all of this data here. You're gonna have keywords. These are keywords that are show up in the book, in the title, in the description. It's also going to run all of these keywords through Amazon Auto Suggest and bring back different results based on where the book might be showing up in the correct category. It's gonna go out there and find out where this product is ranking for all these keywords. Now this is really important. I'll show you why in just one second. It's also gonna show you the amount of competition that each of these keywords is facing. So for example, if I were to sort this by rank, you see Amazon Password Book here has 50,000 other results and it's actually ranking number five. So this is getting a lot of traffic here. The reason we know that is because we introduced Amazon search volume. We've been working on this for a long time with our engineering team, running a lot of different algorithms. Previously, we showed Google search volume because Amazon doesn't actually give search volume, but this search volume right here is going to be as close as you can get for actual Amazon search volume. Finally, we have two more columns, so it's gonna show you the category. Most of the categories for these keywords are going to be in books, but you will see in some of them, they might be split up, as well as seasonality. So the way I like to do this is when I'm uploading a book, I'll find the biggest competitor in the space, I will run it through the Book Scout and when it's done compiling all the information, I'll simply come in here and sort it by rank. So you see, all I did was click that, it sorted all of the keywords out, and now we have the exact keywords that this book right here is ranking for and bringing all the traffic and buyers to this product. So we'll see that here's the keyword, password book and premium journal and logbook. It's ranking number one, but that's kind of a long keyword. As you can see here, the search volume is pretty low at 100. Black password book, ranking number two. It's competing against almost 10,000 other products. It's ranking number two, but this one actually has some decent Amazon search volume at 2,500 people a month. So ranking number two, that is going to give you sales. Website password book, login and password book, username and password book, and the list goes on and on and on. So basically what you want to do is if you're running your competition, reverse ASIN searching them through the Book Scout, you can come in here and take these keywords. So you can take all of these keywords and either put them in your title of your book 
or what I recommend is actually putting them in the back end keywords when you're uploading to KDP. So you know those seven boxes that you can fill out? These right here are all of the keywords that are leading to sales in the niches you want to go into. You can use those to make sure that when you put your book up, you're using the correct keywords to get on hopefully the front page of Amazon and see the same sort of success that this book is doing. Now let me run through one more example for you guys. I've opened up this uh, book right here. Okay, this is an adult coloring book. It is just incredible at 3,000 plus reviews here. It's priced very low. You'll scroll down to the bottom like we just talked about to the product details. You see that the publisher is Create Space. This is merged with KDP now. But this is this tool, the Book Scout, is primarily used for KDP books. So we want to take the ISB10, ISBN10 number here. We're going to go ahead and copy it. And let's just run another search through. Now I've actually searched this previous, so it's going to be very quick for example purposes. But if you're running this for the first time, and you're running a unique ASIN through, it's going to take some time. So what I would suggest is you run your competitor through this tool while you start uploading to KDP. That way, when you get to the keyword section, all of the data is then gathered and right in front of you. But again, we're gonna take this book here, all right? It does incredibly well, adult coloring book. We, po we pasted the ASIN in there, we're gonna go ahead and click search. And there we go, the results are back. And we're gonna sort by rank. You can sort by items count, you can sort by rank, you can sort by any of these different headers here. I always sort by rank because that's the exact, those are the exact keywords that we wanna be using. And you can see right here, here's all the keywords that people are searching for. So for example, it's an adult coloring book, right? If someone goes out there and types in adult coloring, this is gonna show up as number two across Amazon servers. It might be different when you search, it might be different when I search, but the average across all of their servers for this keyword is number two. And as you can see, there's 50,000 other people or products competing for that, but there's 34,000 people a month looking at this keyword. Ranking number two is the exact place you wanna be. So this is definitely one of the keywords that's leading to people buying their book. So again, guys, to use the Book Scout, you want to log in to BookBolt, go over in the left-hand menu, click on Book Scout, run the ASIN. In this case, when we're talking about KDP books, the ASIN is actually the ISBN 10 number. So you can copy that, paste it in here, and click Search. And then you just sit back and you wait for the software to go out and gather all of this information, which you can use to make sure that the books you're placing on KDP are being placed hopefully on the first page and in front of the right buyers. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you guys have any questions or concerns, drop them in the comment, like this video and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.